Oh my god. Is this real? Is it really you, Mr. Jonathan Evans? Holy moly. Now, I'll tell you what. It has been a long freaking time since I posted on this bloody platform. But I'll tell you what. If it's my true understanding of where we were in the past, we actually, as a team, you know, me, you, we, together, we were able to forecast the top of the market. You know, we were looking between December, January time frame for the top of market to occur. As we do know now, it did occur in uh, December. So, why am I back? What the hell's going on? Where have I been? Well, I'm not going to go into where I've been because I don't want this video to be long because, you know, I'm a bit out of tune, got a uh, long COVID, so my brain fog is through the roof. But I thought I might get back on here, start practicing, start, um, you know, getting back into the rhythm of giving you guys some videos because I have been spending the last month, uh, you know, working on our 2023 forecasts. So, if you've been with me during 2022, you'll know what our forecasts were, what our market bias, what our market direction was. Um, world and economic forecasts, uh, I believe that we accurately predicted the Queen's death, you know, despite what you may uh, have in your own personal belief. If you go and, uh, you know, go ahead, subscribe to our 2022 forecast, you'll see that we pinpointed death of the Queen in 2022. Many other uh, events, such as high oil prices, were also part of our forecast. You know, we wrote this back in 2021. Um, school shootings to start again back in the US and, you know, large scale I shouldn't say large scale. Going back into large scale, terrorist attacks was uh, on the agenda. So, you know, terrorist movements moving up again, and that started to occur in the last you know, three, four months, especially around Turkey, etc. Our 2023 forecasts have included things like uh, events which include Israel. You know, Israel has uh, recently started bombing. You know, we started putting out some information on that about a month and a half ago, and uh, I believe it was just in the last two weeks Israel was in the news for, for bombs. So, you know, we've got a pretty good strike rate on what we do, and um, yeah, I think that it's time to get excited for what can occur in 2023. So, you know, I'm going to start posting some videos, as I said, and oh, what's this? Oh, next cycle top. Let's get out of that one quickly. Don't see that one. And what I wanted to see is, you know, where we might be moving into a low. So that's now my job. You know, we, we, we try so hard to find the tops. Now what we're going to be doing is trying so hard to find the bottoms, okay? So... As we can see, the market has, you know, pitched lower, 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 lower again. And, um, you know, depending on what, you know, financial commentary you, you, you follow or whatever, you know, some people are saying that the bottom's coming, the bottom's in now, etc. cetera. Um, you know, other people have been saying that the bottom's in since December last year. So what the heck, who do you believe? What do you follow? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, to be honest, I'm looking for a bottom. I don't want to be too bearish, but, you know, if we just do some... Get out of my way, excuse me. We do some price analysis, do some price extensions. We can start to, you know, look lower if we want. You know, we could be looking around that $11,000 range if the market, you know, falls down a little bit further. You know, let's do it again. All right, down like that. Yep, that's it. Uh, let's go back. Oh, get out of my way. Uh, da -da -da. Let's go from this high to this low here. Bring it up here. Uh, what we want to be finding is we want to be finding these price clusters. All right, this is the secret to this sort of, uh, you know, financial modeling right here. So what we have from, uh, where is it? This one, this one, this one. Um, you know, if we come down, we can start to see, you know, a bit of uh, stuff going on around this levels. I don't know why that's so thick, but anyway, I can't even remember how to use the software. Anyway, so let's get back into it. Um, yeah, so between that, uh, you know, 12000 to $10,000 mark, I definitely think that that is somewhere to be watching. If we scroll across and look into that 12, uh, 12,000 mark, you see we get these highs over here. Now uh, we go even further back. Um, we got anything? No, we don't really have anything back there. Um, so that's that's definitely on the cards. And I actually, you know, kept looking down. I actually, fortunately, didn't save it, but I had a lot of um, price clustering around this $6,000 mark. So I do think that, you know, 6,000 could be on the ball for Bitcoin. Um, so now that we have some price targets, what is important next is if we can find some, you know, dates. So anyone who's been following me for any amount of time, especially, you know, our 2020 forecast, um, we did highlight that November would be a good time to start accumulating. Again, not financial advice. Accumulation is on, a, on an exchange um, basis. You know, whatever you decide to do, I'm just giving an overall uh, commentary. You know, if I go out and say buy gold, I don't mean buy gold derivatives. I don't mean go buy gold stocks, you know, it could be physical gold, which is, you know, an unregulated product. If I go out and say you should buy, you know, the US dollar, I'm not saying buy US dollar derivatives. I'm saying, you know, maybe you go to the local Forex exchange and get some US dollars, simple as that, you know. These are these are unregulated markets. 
But we don't deal in regulated markets because, you know, depending on where you are in the world, that could be illegal. And uh, I don't want to be touching you know, any form of illegal activity. <clears throat> okay, anyway, let's get back to it. So, yeah, anyway, I was just waffling on, just to protect myself. Um, let's go back, you know, that November point, you know, perfect time, I reckon, in, in what uh, we were talking about last year to be, you know, starting that accumulation process again. But that doesn't mean that the bottom's in, you know. This is, I'm going to draw out a little squiz and uh, and just show you what I think is going to happen. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, boom. Just like that, you know. Boom, 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 boom. It's kind of like that. Now, uh, da -da -da. I'm not going to go into the 2023 forecast too much, but, um, you know, we're expecting a low around here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Oh, one of these months here. And what I mean by low is, you know, just the markets, the market sentiment, you know, starts to shift. All the bad news that can come out, all the negative sentiment that can come out is out. And, you know, we start to look for pushing prices, you know, markets starting to push higher. That is uh, possibly something that could be occurring between now and March. Possibly, I say possibly, you know, if you want the actual, you know, information, you have to join our 2023 forecast, of course, you know, it's under this ticket right here, you know, our secret 2023 mass pressure. Um, yeah, you got to get in there because that's that's where we share all the juice and this sort of stuff, you know. So, um, there's lots of things that we uncovered last year, and we're going to start now uh, looking into the future to see where price may turn around and what the future may give us. Is Bitcoin rising back to sixty thousand dollars next year, or is it going to be hovering around that twenty five, twenty seven thousand range, etc.? That is exactly what we're looking at. So, I would like to congratulate myself and welcome myself back to YouTube. At least, uh, you know, I'm going to try to. You know, I can't promise anything. And um, so, if you want to congratulate me, leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, I look forward to talking to you soon.